Welcome back to a flight attendant vlog. Today I'm starting a three day trip. I am flying out of Fort Lauderdale Airport, but if you're new to this channel, I am a Miami based flight attendant. However, there are times that we do get to fly out of co terminals. So since I'm in South Florida, our co terminal is Fort Lauderdale or West Palm Beach. But luckily, I get to fly out of Fort Lauderdale, which is very close to where I live, much, much closer than Miami. So right now, got my bags ready. Bye, guys. I'll see you in a few days. I'm only going to be gone till Friday. Just a three day trip. It'll be quick. Bye, my little girl. So today I'm working in the back of the plane. I'm gonna be the galley flight attendant in charge of setting up the carts, the drinks, the snackies, the whole shebang. So update guys, we are currently in Dallas. I had to stop and get some food over at Qdoba. I got myself a chicken quesadilla. So we had like an hour and a half delay on the taxiway in Fort Lauderdale because of really bad weather and air traffic control wasn't allowing us to take off. So needless to say, a lot of people were upset about missing connections, but luckily we made it and now we're going to Cincinnati. Welcome to my hotel room here in Cincinnati. So this room is pretty big, it's, it's a suite. So it's got a microwave, a refrigerator, long desk. Um, so we're in downtown Cincinnati at the moment, which actually, fun fact, I'll show you guys the view tomorrow. Fun fact, you know the Cincinnati airport is actually in Kentucky. So we actually landed in Kentucky and then the hotel van drove us from Kentucky to downtown Cincinnati, which is about a 20 minute drive. So yeah, fun fact. And the Cincinnati airport is actually called the Cincinnati slash Northern Kentucky International Airport. So yeah, I didn't know that. It is now 1.11 a.m. Time for me to go to sleep because I'm exhausted. I would have been way asleep by now at home. I would have been I would have been in my REM sleep had I been at home right now. I have kind of a late pickup tomorrow, like 4 p.m. So I might just sleep in and just relax and edit more videos because I have some videos to edit for my Disney cruise that I just went on. And if you're new here, I do love Disney. And I love cruising, so I just recently went on a Disney cruise, which was my 10th Disney cruise. I'm obsessed. I had the best time. So I'll go check those out if you haven't. All right, went to bed now. Bye. The next day. I slept so good. I haven't had that good of a sleep in a long time. Right now, just grabbing my breakfast sandwich from the fridge. I made this at home, and I'm just gonna stick it into my hot logic and get it nice and warm because I'm about to go to the gym. By the time I get back from the gym, it should be ready. This hot logic is my lifesaver. Also, I realized I didn't show you guys the view last night because it was so dark. Today, we have a very nice view, so it is very nice and sunny out there. It looks like there's mountains back there, which I didn't know that there are mountains in Ohio. But yeah, we're definitely downtown. You can definitely see the downtowny looking buildings, and you get the downtown vibe. But like I said, I'm heading off to the gym. Ooh, that lighting. I'm going to the gym right now. Get a workout in. We don't have to be downstairs for the van to the airport until like 4:10, so I have plenty of time. It's still like 9 o'clock right now, so I have time to just relax, chill out, and then go to work later on today. I think I gotta get that stretching in. Stretching is very important, guys. I have injured myself a lot because I don't stretch. So now I'm all about that stretching life. I am back from the workout. I'm gonna make myself my healthy drink. You're supposed to have it on an empty stomach. It's the Athletic Greens. Let me know down below if you guys have ever tried this. I just started drinking it maybe like about a week ago. And it has all these vitamins and minerals and all these things that are great for you. So, so definitely gonna do this right now, especially when flying, you know, we're exposed to a lot of different bacterias and all that. Check it out. Also, this video is not sponsored, by the way. Um, I just really like this stuff. But I do have a referral code in the link down below. So if you guys do want to try this stuff, just use my code. But again, this video is not sponsored. I actually bought this with my own coin. My sandwich should be ready about now. It's been about an hour and a half that it's been in here. Oh yes, she is steamy. She's hot. So I made a bagel sandwich with egg, cheese, and Canadian bacon. And now it's just time to relax the rest of the day until it's time for pickup. 
All right, time to go and do it all over again. Two flights today, Cincinnati to Dallas and then Dallas to Jacksonville. And we should be done a little earlier tonight than we were last night. I think tonight will be done around like 10.30ish. But anyways, I'll keep you guys updated on our day. Same thing today as yesterday. I'm gonna go back on the plane, set up the galley, same way. Both of our flights are about two hours-ish long, so it's not like a huge service. Basically just drinks and a snack. Zip her up and get on the road. All right, guys. So after three hours of sitting here in the Cincinnati airport, we're finally going to Dallas. We're actually three hours delayed because of a maintenance issue. Back at it in the galley again. One hour and 50 minute flight. And then tonight we're laying over in Dallas now. We're no longer going to Jacksonville. We're staying the night in Dallas because our flight was so delayed that we're gonna miss our next connecting flight, so. Just made it to Dallas. Now heading to the hotel for the night. Finally in the hotel room here in Dallas, Fort Worth. Got a little bit of a different room tonight. Today I have two beds. Very Texas-y, this hotel room. But yeah, Dallas, who would have thought? Just hours ago, I thought I was gonna be in Jacksonville tonight. Just goes to show you that when you're a flight attendant, you have to be very flexible because you just never know what's gonna happen. So to give you a little bit more detail about what happened, we were already at the airport ready to get on our airplane to go to, go to Dallas and then to go to Jacksonville. But turns out that the plane had a mechanical issue and we then had to wait for another plane to come in like three hours later. So by the time we got to Dallas, the flight to Jacksonville was already gone. So we ended up laying over here in Dallas for the night. Uh, tomorrow, we only have one flight back home to Fort Lauderdale and then we'll be done with this three day trip. So now two of the flights that we had to work originally, we no longer have to work those flights. So good for us. And you know, a lot of you are probably wondering, oh, well, do you still get paid for them? So yes, we do get pay protected for the flights that we were removed from. So that's a positive. But anyways, it is now 11.49 PM, almost midnight. Uh, time for me to go to bed. The next day. I pretty much spent the whole morning in bed. I was just editing videos and working on my channel. I've kind of had a lazy morning and now I'm gonna be naughty. And I ordered some Jack in the Box. We don't have any Jack in the Boxes in Florida that I know of, but yeah, I'm gonna be naughty. I'm gonna have some lunch. I had a breakfast sandwich earlier, the one that I packed from home. And if I forgot that I'm in Texas, I will have this reminder because I'm supposed to be in Florida in Jacksonville, but now I'll know that I'm in Texas. I've pretty much been a bum the whole entire day. I haven't done anything. I haven't even left this room, but it felt so good because I know once I go home, Home. I'm gonna have to uh, take care of dogs and clean and do a bunch of things that I have to do when I get home But yeah, uh, it was nice to just lay around and not do anything for today So this trip has been kind of uneventful really other than the couple delays that we had nothing crazy happened delays happen Mechanicals happen in the airline industry. So it's all kind of things that come along with the territory So I'm not really it's kind of like when those things happen to you You're not really surprised it is a slight inconvenience But it's just things that just happen in this industry But luckily today we only have one flight back home to Fort Lauderdale can't wait to get back home see my dogs and then I have one day off only just one day off and then I go back to work for two more days so since I went on a cruise earlier this month I did have a week off so I'm kind of paying for it now and I'm working all my trips kind of stacked like one after the other with maybe like a day or two in between off and that's also the beauty of this job is the flexibility so if you do want a ton of days off to go on vacation or do something you can do that but then you got to pay for it later on in the month and that's why I really love this job One final time for this trip, set up that galley and go home. Made it to Fort Lauderdale Airport. Just got off of the flight. Heading home now. Now I just gotta wait for the employee shuttle to get here. I get the royal treatment today. Hello, my little sweet princess. Where's Gio? Where's Gio? Is Gio sleeping? And I am home now. That's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. Leave this video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm very excited because tomorrow for my one day off, we are decorating for Halloween. So be sure to tune in for that vlog. All right, see you guys on the next video. Bye.